what is up my planting people i hope you are well uh, it's a sunny bright morning today uh, and i thought it was going to be a great day uh, but this plant here has uh, um, given me just just a little something to make this day a little bit less bright so this plant is tucked away in the corner of my house where i don't really um, get to look at it too much look at the leaves and, and evaluate it it's just tucked away in my windowsill I just water it, it just does its thing um, but today I noticed that it seems to be coming down with some spider mites now I hope you can see that these are all the little mites and I've only just noticed that today so I'm not even sure how long this has been going on for but today I'll be using a technique um, that I've seen online and I'm really looking forward to trying so I'm going to use this and today what I'm going to be using uh, is some diatomaceous earth diatomaceous earth is an organic material it's actually made up of uh, of shells it's like very small microscopic shells um, and to us it it's actually uh, it's like a powder white powder but to small invertebrates uh, the the structure of the diatomaceous earth is actually very sharp and what happens is, is it gets underneath its their, their shells and it actually cuts them up uh, and causing them to dehydrate and then die off so today i'm going to try to use this i'm going to attempt to use this and see how it goes sorry about that there was a training in the background so i've tried neem oil in the past and it doesn't seem to work for me so i'm going to give this one a go i've just got an old paintbrush here uh, dip it in and just sort of brush the leaves just like so you want to really get a good coat on the top of the leaves and on the bottom so diatomaceous earth you don't want to breathe it in for all of the same reasons um, why it affects the the bugs it could actually do a very similar thing to your lungs so you don't want to breathe that in so now that I've done the top I'm going to do the bottom of the leaves so it's a bit it's a bit of a of a difficult one here to do us holding the camera but there you go give that a good dusting it's nice and even let's turn the plant one more time just like so really get in there um, I've noticed spider mites on my euphorbia as well and I'm actually dealing with that using um, beneficial insects and so far it seems to be working but this one I decided to handle a little bit differently so there we go so what that's going to do that nice even coating is as the plants or as the bugs rather walk all over the leaves they'll get coated in the diatomaceous earth let's get some of this off of the bench they'll get coated in the diatomaceous earth uh, and hopefully that will sort them out the hardest thing about spider mice i find is that as you kill the, the adults uh the eggs also hatch and then it's hard to keep on top of them uh so this should help to um attack the bugs as soon as they hatch um, and get rid of them sooner rather than later so I'll keep you guys posted on how that works. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps. And as always, keep planting.